Allora, benvenuti a questa sesta Welcome to the sixth edition of the Pan Bianco Beauty Summit. As you see this year, the title is the beauty industry and the new business models. Hence, we are going to talk particularly about innovation, sustainability, and research. But particularly, we are going to listen to very interesting, even extraordinary stories from companies, both Italian and international companies, that have been operating successfully in our markets. Before starting our works, I would like to thank our sponsors, Borsa Italiana, that has been our partner for long, Logistica di Farco, Clarna, and Quadrivo Pan Bianco Made in Italy Fund. Uh, service notice, we are going to have uh, two interventions in English, so if you wish, we have uh, uh, at the back of the entrance the uh, headsets for the simultaneous translation. So let's uh, start. I would immediately leave the floor to our longtime partner, whom I haven't mentioned before, because I do consider him like uh, a co-organizer, Cosmetica Italia. The uh, chair, Ancorotti, is not here because uh, uh, today there's uh, Cosmoprof too, so both us and the exhibition have kicked off these uh, fortnight in the world of cosmetics and beauty, uh, with the spotlight definitely cast on this industry. So we've got the Vice Chair Benedetto Lavino, whom I ask to join me here on stage. Buongiorno a tutti. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thanks, David. As uh, David was saying, I'm here on behalf of our own chair, uh, Mr. Ancorotti. Cosmoprof is kicking off today. So this is definitely uh, the day of beauty. My goals today are quite simple. I would like to drive you through uh, the closing data of 2021 that will be presented at Cosmoprof in these days, and we are going to discuss them, of course. And I would like to tell you about how the year 2022 has started this new year and how the beauty industry is experiencing this uh, special economic moment. So beauty behind the crisis. The current scenario, as we know, uh, it is characterized by great shifts, both in, in economic, social, and environmental terms. COVID-19 has brought about physical slowdowns and delays in the commercial flows and in the supply of the beauty supply chain. And the recent economic scenario also can characterized by the geopolitical tensions in Ukraine, by the energy costs and the uh, rise in the commodities, uh, pri commodity prices, uh, in demands us uh, so to review the estimates at the end of 2021, which actually made us uh, believe that we could overcome the data of 2021 already in 2022. But as we will see, this is not like this, even though definitely 2022 is quite a recovery year. A methodological note to start, how does the Cosmetica Italia Research Center, Study Center work? We do acquire or the objective uh, sell out uh, market data from all our partners. The channels that are not monitored uh, uh, are the scenario for both qualitative and quantitative special surveys. And we do complete surveys at our partners throughout the year, too, to keep an eye uh, on the sector and how the sector works. After the beginning of this year that has been characterized by the geopolitical events that are currently underway, we have immediately asked uh, to fill the pulse of the situation to our own partners and we asked them what they 
think the strengths and the current weaknesses in our sector are and what are the threats and the opportunities lying behind it. As for the strengths, of course, continuous investment in research and development, which is a primary characteristic in the cosmetic sector. And for the first time ever, we have seen e-commerce and digital activities. Please remember that the beauty sector has always lagged behind in adopting both the digital e-commerce channel and the digital tools. Then there was a ramp up during the past five to six years. And currently, entrepreneurs and companies see that as a strength because that allows us to get to know better our consumers to establish better relationships with them. As for the weaknesses, of course, the planning of uh, uh, the productive activity, because with the bottlenecks in the current logistics, we would all love to uh, plan I ha one day ahead. But of course, there are needs for uh, production and supply, and also some economic data, which we have always to abide by. Threats, of course, uh, the rising prices, energy, uh, the our sector actually is not uh, uh, an uh, energy intensive sector, but it's a productive uh, sector. The rise in the raw material costs and also the supply of some raw materials that uh, uh, is actually experiencing tough period for beauty too. As for opportunities, they are mainly related to today's theme, hence a rethinking of our own business models with some new investments, particularly on uh, the foreign markets. And possibly uh, this has been the line motif, uh, uh, which was quite common throughout almost all the in interviewed entrepreneurs. And even uh, a rethinking of uh, merger plans and some extraordinary finance plans. Deep diving into the activities that have been characterizing our sector so far in these past two years, for sure in technological innovation, but uh, also a shift of our own supply chain towards the so-called natural channel and sustainable channel. I am the chair of the commission linked uh, working on a natural and sustainable products and during the past few years, we've sped up both at the level of product formulation and at the level of innovations uh, in production systems. In fact, if we consider the turnover of products having this type of characterization, hence a uh, figure that is uh, transversal throughout all the distribution channels, we see that it is current, it currently accounts for 16% of the total market. Our own industries have definitely invested in their own plans. They've even been able to reconvert their own production capacity during the lockdown. They were even able to produce some emergency uh, activities like uh, uh, the manufacturing of uh, hygienizing, uh, sanitizing gels uh, during the lockdown. We are, however, as for our primary leadership in the uh, Italian market, uh, we are leaders in the makeup sector. In Europe, we account for about 67% of uh, the uh, sold market, of the market of sold products, which is quite unique. We are definitely an excellency. If we consider the channels, what, uh, uh, how did they perform in 2021? As a whole, the market in 2021 has grown by 8%. Please remember that the loss uh, uh, in the two past years, uh, 2020 against 2015, was about 10.5, 11 How has the market changed? Actually, 
those who were the, the channels uh, that suffered the most in the year 2020 have bounced back the most. The mass market has remained quite stable. It has grown anyway. The mass market did not suffer any real closures uh, during the year 2020. Hence, uh, uh, it was able to uh, remain quite stable. Perfumery, uh, hairdressing, uh, herbal sales and dart sales suffered strongly from the lockdown, but they positively bounced back in 2021. As for pharmacies, uh, the question is quite similar to the mass market, hence uh, they, the, the, that channel actually benefited from the closures, uh, and last year they were stable. E-commerce has grown the most throughout 2020, and they, uh, the e-commerce channel kept on growing in 2021, turning into one of the primary channels also as regards our own sector. These past two years have definitely been a breakthrough for the e-commerce channel, as I was saying before, as regards uh, the Italian market. For sure, this year it is going to exceed 1 billion euro. We've got to 871, as you can see. As for the market uh, uh, forecasts, the latest updates uh, expects a growth of both 2022 and 2023, hence we are going to be back to pre-crisis levels already this year without exceeding them, but this year we're going to be at the same pre-COVID levels. As regards the sales of the whole market, hence all the beauty industries in Italy considering export too, we have a growth compared to the year 2020 of uh, about 10 percent, almost 10 percent, with export playing the leading role with a plus 14 percent. Here you can see the performance of uh, uh, the general sales in the industry. The uh, loss was uh, minus 11 percent. In 2019, we had exceeded 12 billion, so that was a record year. In 2021, we've almost got back to a stable situation as before the COVID crisis. In 2022, we are going to actually uh, break even practically and reach the same levels as pre-COVID. For 2023, we had expected, as you can see here, uh, the growth. As you can see, we also have there our expectations for growth that we're plus 6.5 for 2022 and plus 6.6 .6 for 2023. Apart from the bottlenecks in the uh, supply chain and the problems related to commodities prices uh, uh, have been already underway since last October, what the crisis had ad has added up is definitely a more difficult pro um, propension to uh, purchases as regards the market. Hence, we had to review all our forecasts. What, From an operational point of view, what are the main problems that companies are uh, trying to cope with? The first, definitely uh, the question linked to the bottlenecks in uh, the supply chain, the closure of some plants abroad due to the geopolitical situation and in some cases to some issues related to local supply. 18% of the interviewed uh, parties have not highlighted any problems so far, lucky them. Deep diving once more into the situation, what were the impacts on uh, uh, the economic uh, situation and the costs the companies have to uh, suffer? Currently, the variation between 2019 and 2022, because we've considered uh, 2019 as the benchmark year. As for raw materials, we have a price increase uh, accounting for 14%, which is quite heavy. 
As for energy, we are uh, in line with the rest of the market with a price increase equal to 35%. Uh, what are companies doing to try and mitigate this impact? First, 70% of uh, the counterparties say we are not increasing our own prices to cover the whole price increase because we do want to be competitive and we want to keep uh, public competitive prices, retail competitive prices. Hence, we are making internal adjustments currently. On the whole, we can say that the answer to the current situation, which is uh, an inflationary situation, is currently seeing an increase to retail prices, which can be calculated from 4.2 to 5.8 percent. We do prefer to consider uh, this range instead of giving a specific figure, because there are differences between the different distributors and channels and so forth. So what is the beauty industry doing to meet uh, this special moment. Well, as we were saying before, as David was saying, we are back to in-presence events and exhibitions. We are here at this wonderful event organized by Pambianco today. And today, Cosmoprof is also kicking off. This has been uh, the result of a peculiar situation in uh, the chain, because, of course, uh, um, the premises have to be booked uh, quite well in advance, and we had this coincidence. We have started together. Then uh, in a relentless development of the digital channel and uh, a review of traditional channels, as we said before, the e-commerce channel now represents a dynamic which is not temporary, but it is something that has changed the very sectorial dynamic. Hence, we are starting uh, to see some uh, hybrid retail dynamics on the way. Well, through e-commerce and through the digital channels, um, rights and coupons uh, can be gained uh, related to discounts in brick and mortar uh, shops uh, and the like. So the digital is really becoming quite pervasive. It's changing the channel mix and the way the channels interact with the consumers. For sure, there's the metaverse opportunity. We know the the largest social media player is investing a lot on that, and there are some opportunities also for the companies in our own sector. Many of us are considering with great interest uh, this opportunity with great interest. For sure, there's also a redefinition of the communication mix, the way people talk to end users, where social media and influencers uh, are increasing their weight in the media investment by all our beauty companies. And as I said before, there are some innovations in the processes and products that are also accompanied by the needs of the so-called environmental transition. So within our own sales, we really see a great growth uh, in the products that guarantee more and more sustainability and naturalness and also traceability of their own ingredients. Where, so we are all trying to get to a zero impact actions. Well, I think I've finished. I leave you with um, a spoiler because uh, considering the events, that are currently enacted. There's a great uh, novelty. We've got the Beauty Week, the Milan Beauty Week, which is going to uh, kick off on May the 3rd. Uh, Asa Lombarda will be the stage for its presentation. Then we are going to have a beauty village at Palazzo Giure Consulti. We are going to have one full week of events dedicated to our own world. Thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of the works.